Damian Bartonic on behalf of Fox West Texas and the official host of MMA Monday, the only MMA show in San Angelo. Today I'm joined by a very special woman, someone that I've been wanting to interview for such a long time. And I'm finally, I'm so glad that she's finally in my presence. <laughs> Lupi Godinez. Lupi, you are an absolute dog, someone that I love to watch fight. Uh, first off and first and foremost, um, I know we're we're very close uh, to the fight here. We're, we're less than a month out. Kind of just tell me how you're feeling. How's the brain? How's the body doing, um, you know, prior to this fight? Yeah, you know, I feel really good. I feel confident. I've been working really hard. Um, I haven't stopped working since my last fight. I made it take a week off. But, um, always, you know, I'm always training. Um, I feel really good, really confident for this fight. I I have improved so much and I can see, I can feel it. So I'm really excited for this fight coming up. Yeah. And a lot of, a lot of those improvements, I'm sure also come to the fact that you train at a very, very good gym uh, with people like, you know, Alexa Grasso is there or Diego Lopez, uh, Irene Aldana, if I'm not mistaken, you train with some high level people. Um, just kind of talk about that. Talk about your improvements in your game and, and training alongside uh, such great athletes like the one I, the ones I just named. Yeah, well, just imagine, you know, like I'm training with the champ. Um, I'm training with Irene. I'm training with all of those guys. And, and the energy is crazy. And it's not only them, but like everyone that is coming up. And, you know, the, all the younger generation that, you know, that that are training super hard. They're having fights. They're working towards UFC and stuff. But they're so good that is we're good because of them. You know, they push us to 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 you know, to, to, to improve because they're improving constantly. So we have to improve constantly too. So that's a, like, it's a really healthy circle that we go going on there. Well, what's also, what's also beautiful in that not only are you developing um, as a talent as in, you know, in your game, but you're also extremely tough, right? I've, I've looked into your story um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a very beautiful thing for you to be here in front of me and, and all the hard work you've put in. Um, but you're also very tough in the octagon. You have never been finished. Uh, not one time kind of just tell me about uh, your toughness. If you feel like, um, or what exactly you feel kind of goes into your ability to be so tough in that octagon um, and, and, and and whatever the whatever your opponent takes at you, you can or throws at you, you can take it without an issue. Just talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you know that's that that right there is from training. You know, like getting in bad positions, starting in bad positions. Um, and and you know sometimes when I fight, is is so it's so much easier than my training camps. You know, here in Mexico. Uh, my training camps are really intense and I find that that give me that extra edge in my head. So when I'm in the cage, it's, it's easier, you know? Yeah, I, I hear that a lot from fighters too. Like the training camps are sometimes harder than the actual fight. Um, yeah. Now, I've only had one competition. Uh, I competed in a jiu-jitsu tournament back in August. And I can tell you, yeah, my, my camp uh, was a lot harder than the actual fight itself. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, you, you do this, you know, I mean, you just won four times last year in a calendar year, which is unprecedented, you know, first of its kind, um, before we talk about your upcoming fight, just kind of talk about that a little bit. I mean, you've already made history. You've come from so much and for you to make history like that, um, did you get a little bit emotional when you found out that, Hey, um, you've done, you've done something that no one's ever done winning four fights uh, in a calendar year. Yeah. I wouldn't call it emotional. But it was more like, oh, dang, because like I had no idea. And then I'm, I'm just doing my thing. And it just happens that, you know, that is the first time that someone done it and stuff like that. So it's just like, oh, wow, that's crazy. You know, I'm just doing it. Like, it's not that I'm planning to do any, any, any of this stuff. It's just happening. And, and I think it's just, you know, all my hard work that I've been putting, that, that I've been putting for so many years now. And it's showing. Oh, I, I believe it 100%. And I've, I'm, I've been watching and I've been seeing that as well. Uh, just a couple more for you and then I'll, I'll let you go here. Um, your upcoming opponent, Mackenzie Dern, um, very, very storied grappler, very accomplished grappler. Um, but at the same time, you yourself are very, very good in that department. Um, speaking of getting finished, she's only been finished once in her career and it was via knockout. I look at your hands. I look at your hand speed. I look at your ability to put stuff together. Um, I see an advantage there for you on paper. But when you look at this fight, 
Um, tell me some of the things that kind of catch your eye. I know mm-hmm. I'm, you're not going to give me the whole game plan, but um, just kind of tell me a little bit about this upcoming fight and, and, your, and your next opponent. Yeah, you know, I respect Mackenzie a lot. She's been, you know, uh, in a lot of wars. She's been, she's been fighting with, you know, almost everybody in the division. And I'm excited to face her. I'm excited to test my skills with against her skills. And and she go a lot of good stuff, but I also I go a lot of good stuff. She got a lot of holes, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'll am i capitalize on them, that I, I will be watching a lot of her tape, uh, a lot of her fights. And, and you know, I, I have what it takes for for that fight to be mine. Absolutely. My, my last one for you. Um, we have, we're still, what we got about four or five months left, uh, give or take in the year. Um, you know, this is, this is going to be your, your second fight in 2024. Um, after this fight in particular, is there anything else? Is there another goal for you? Because with a win like this, you're right on the cusp of a title shot, one more win. And it's the bell, you you know, you're going to get that title shot. Um, tell me kind of what, what else is next for you that we can expect, um, in 2024. Yeah. You know, I haven't, thought too much after about like after this fight i'm just i'm just in mexico i'm just training i'm fighting in less than a month and it's all i'm focusing on uh so hopefully you know if i get one more this year that's great um but let's see what happens you know i need to i need to get i have a big task ahead of me and and let's see what's what's next yeah, has it has it hit you? Or I know you've been really focusing, but has it hit you that like, um, or or do you, do you ever think about like, hey, with the win here, like that t- I'm right there for a title shot. Like, has that has that hit you yet? Uh I mean, I I try not to put too much emphasis on that because that will be thinking, you know, jump like pretending Mackenzie is not here, you know, in my <laughs> head. So like for me is Mackenzie. That's it. She's my title fight. She's my, she's the she's the one that I have in front. You know, she's that fight that I have to win. She's the most important thing right now for me. And and yeah, it's cool about the belt and and the title shot and all of that stuff. But this is this is here. This is um this is she's in front of me right now. And and whoever is next doesn't matter if it's another fight, if it's the belt, if doesn't matter. Then we we go for the next step, and I do that on purpose just so, um, you know, a lot of people get o- overwhelmed with things and 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 okay, I'm right there, and then you're stressing yourself out for for something that hasn't happened yet, or or you still need to prove this one before that happens, you know, and 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 it it just I couldn't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's no, I don't think it's healthy to 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 jump this and think ahead. That's yeah. that's that's just me though. That's how I deal with my, I wouldn't say nerves, but with my with my life, with the situations that that I get thrown in. So yeah, it's it's yeah. almost like, or it's basically you. You know, you're very present in every moment, rather than getting too far ahead of yourself. Yes. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just 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 for just for the sake of enjoying like truly enjoying every single moment that you're doing because this career of fighting is really short window that if you the only thing that you're doing is think about the future the future the future you're not enjoying it really and by the time you know when you open your eyes all this career is finished and you look back and you're like oh shit like I didn't enjoy you know I was just worried all the time and like I'm doing this because I don't need to do this, but I love it. I enjoy it. This is this is what I do. This is me, right? So if I want to do it like this, I have to have fun. I have to enjoy it. And that's what I'm doing. And I, I, I just love this so much that for me, it's just, you know, a treat. For sure. Lupi, it's also a treat for me to watch you in the octagon. I absolutely love it. Um, I appreciate your time as well. Um, I want to let you have the floor. If there's anything that you'd like uh, the fans to know, anything, you, any message that you have for the fans uh, or the viewers, feel free. Um, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me, for inviting me. And and thank you, everyone, for all the uh, support and love and all the lovely messages that I get. All my lovers, all my haters, I love you, everyone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> You know, thanks for my team that is being with me and, um, you know, keep pushing me and, and we're going for 
you know, for everything and, and anything. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs>